पेंटिंग हैज अ वेरी लॉन्ग ट्रेडिशन एंड हिस्ट्री इन इंडियन आर्ट तो बिकॉज ऑफ द क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन वेरी फ्यू अर्ली एग्जाम्पल सर्वाइव द अर्लीस्ट इंडियन पेंटिंग्स वर द रॉक पेंटिंग्स ऑफ प्री हिस्टोरिक टाइम्स सम ऑफ द स्टोन एज रॉक पेंटिंग्स फाउंड अमंग बिम भेट का रॉक शेल्टर्स आर अप्रॉक्सिमेटली टेन थाउजेंड ईयर्स ओल्ड इंडियन पेंटिंग्स कैन बी ब्रॉडली क्लासिफाइड एज म्यूरल्स मिनी एचर्स एंड पेंटिंग्स ऑन क्लॉथ म्यूरल्स आर लार्ज वर्कस executed on the walls of solid structures miniature paintings are executed on a very small scale for books or albums on perishable materials such as paper and cloth paintings on cloth were often produced in a more popular context often as folk art that were bought as souvenirs of pilgrimages very few survivors are older than about 200 years but it is clear that the traditions are much older Some regional traditions are still producing works and one of them is Phad. Dating back thousands of years, Phad is a narrative scroll painting tradition which originated in Rajasthan. Red, yellow and orange colors are mostly used in this type of art to paint stories of local deities and heroes. The depictions are usually of battlefield scenes, adventure stories, legendary romances, etc., etc. The beauty of this painting lies in the fact that many stories are accommodated in this single composition. Hello friends, welcome back to this amazing show Five to Shine. I'm Shreenu Parekh and I'm so excited to begin today's quiz. Let me welcome my shining stars of the day. Hello pretty girls. Would you like to introduce yourself to the audiences? My name is Khushi Vora. I'm 14 years old and I'm from Mumbai. Okay, and you? Hi, my name is Anvi. I'm 11 years old. I'm from Thane. Okay, welcome. We are so excited to have you at Five to Shine. All right. You guys know the rules? Yes. But let me just repeat quickly for the new audiences that have just joined. So I'm going to ask you five questions. If you know the answer without thinking, just press the buzzer. Whoever presses the buzzer first gets the chance to answer first. All right? And if your answer is wrong, the question will automatically be passed down to the other contender. By the end of the fifth question, whoever scores the most will be the winner and will be given a reward. and whoever loses will be given a punishment what is the punishment so the punishment for today is the losing participant has to tell five quotes by eminent personalities with their names okay but tell me one thing do you guys actually remember any of them right now I can see the doubt in her eyes. So, just to prevent your punishment, all you have to do is focus and try to win the contest. Okay? All right, let's go. Your first question is, which of the following is the popular dance form of Lakshadweep Island? Your options are A, Kathak, B, Koli, C, Kuchipudi, or D, Kolkali. Yes, D, Kolkali. Kolkali is the right answer. Kolkali is a folk art performed in Lakshadweep Island, India. The dance performers move in a circle striking small sticks and keeping rhythm with the special steps. The circle expands and contracts as the dance progresses. The accompanying music gradually rises in the pitch and the dance reaches to its climax. All right. You have scored the first question. Congratulations and you my love, you have to buck up. All right? Let's move on to the second question which is traditional buffalo race. Kambala is related to which state? Your options are A Andhra Pradesh, B Tamil Nadu, C Karnataka or D Kerala. Yes. Karnataka Karnataka is the correct answer congratulations 
Kambala is an annual buffalo race held in the southwestern Indian state of Karnataka. Traditionally, it is sponsored by local Tuluva landlords and households in the coastal districts of Dakshina Kannada and UDP of Karnataka and Kasaragod of Kerala, a region collectively known as Tulu Nadu. Okay, now the score is 1-1. Not bad. Okay, we will move on to the third question and that is who among the following calculated the value of pi first in India? Your options are A. Buddhayana B. Aryabhatta C. Bhaskaracharya or D. Sridharacharya Okay, Khushi, what's the answer? Aryabhatta Alright that is the correct answer. Aryabhatta discovered an approximation of pi. 62,832 divided by 20,000 equals to 3.1416. He also correctly believed that the planets and the moon shine by reflected sunlight and the motion of the stars is due to Earth's rotation. Okay girls, I'm confused after so much of maths. What is the score? Two one. Two one. Two one. Okay, so we have Kushi in the lead right now and we have a punishment that you both should be scared of. I think winning is much better than losing, right? Yes. Alright, let's move on to the fourth question. In which of the following state is the Ambubachi Mela held every year? Your options are A. Kerala B. Gujarat C. Sikkim or D, Assam. I think it was Kushi again. Assam. Assam is the right answer. The Ambubachi Mela is an annual Hindu Mela held at the Kamakya Temple in Guwahati, Assam. This yearly Mela is celebrated during the monsoon season that happens to fall during the Assamese month, Ahar. Around the middle of June, when the sun transits to the zodiac of Mithuna, when the Brahmaputra River is in spate. Okay? So now the score is 3-1, right? Yes. Before we move ahead, it's time for Prodigy Talks or Pro Talks. Let's talk about Prodigy's concept. Help them navigate failure. Your child will experience some setbacks along with the journey. Help them navigate failure and guide them in learning from their mistakes. Teach them that failures are learning opportunities. Try to motivate them whenever they feel low. Especially for children who are high achievers, failure can hit them very hard. Try to re-establish their path and their capabilities. We are on to our last question which is Rongali Bihu, one of the major festivals of Assam, is celebrated in the month of A. March, B. June, C. October or D. April. Again, Kushi? April. April is the correct answer. I mean, you are amazing, Kushi. Congratulations. April is the right answer. Rongali Bihu, also called as Zad Bihu, is traditional ethnic festival celebrated in the northeastern Indian state of Assam and other parts of northeastern India by the indigenous ethnic groups of Assam and marks the beginning of the Assamese New Year. Okay, my darlings, so you have like one and how. The score is 4-1. You tried good, but it was just not meant to be. So, are you ready for your punishment? Yes. All right, but before that, a very well-deserved hamper. Congratulations, my dear. Thank you. Okay, time for your punishment, darling. <coughs> you remember what was your punishment? Yes. Five quotes from five eminent personalities within one minute. Okay, so your time starts now. Lord study wins the race by Rosen Williams. Uh, honesty is the best policy by Shakespeare. You, uh, if you can dream it, you can do it by Walt Disney. And um, one positive thought can change your whole day by Zig Ziglar. And uh, um, tough times never last, but tough people do by Robert H. Sculler. 
Oh my God, you're such a tough person. You just taught me like five quotes already. That was amazing. You can be a part of this quiz round. Want to know how? Just follow our Instagram handle and you will get all the updates over there. We will be back with another contest, new set of contenders and five exciting questions along with a nice punishment. So here it's me, Shenu Parikh, signing off. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Born to Shine. And don't forget to press the bell icon.